Frankensteinist. <laughs> We're making a Frankensteinist wow. today with Ken Wingard, and he's here to teach us how to make a life size Frankensteinist. And we're going to look at the drawing that our master, master prop master, Dave Lowe, made. Isn't he awesome? Yeah, he's awesome. And there's That's Frankie our... standing right there in the front oh. yard. Okay. Oh, we're getting so, there. There he is. <laughs> is. Right there. Uh, all right. His name is Mark. So, how do we start to make yeah. our monster? How do we make our monster? <laughs> what do we need? We got a lot well, of parts. Yeah, there's a lot of parts, but we have it on the website. And basically, what you can do is print it out and bring it to your hardware store, to yeah. the, the plumbing area, and they can set it all up and they can cut all the pieces. Stop Everything it. for this really? cost under $50. That's yeah. fantastic. So, really, it's something. Things you might already have, like the big trash bucket you're gonna have. You probably have a five gallon bucket, bucket around, around. Sure. and a milk jug. You've got that around. So perfect. It's very easy. Um, you go in an hour, you'll be out of there, and you can put the whole thing together in an hour. All so. right, we have a tape of you actually doing that. So can we see? Yeah. So to, to start off, there are just a couple of things I did to prep to get me to the point we are now. Mm -hmm. um, one is to get our um, to get our base going, and all I did was took a big round wood disc. Also from the hardware store, pre and took our yes. pre-cut and took our two caps to our end caps, and I glued those to the bottom. The great thing about this project is no screwing needed, no um, anything else. So just a little bit of Gorilla Glue. You do want to use something that's pretty strong so that it can withstand a your kids and yeah. b the element. By the way, no gorillas were harmed during. No the gorillas were harmed this. in the making of the. What are you gun. putting on there? What is? So that? those are just two end caps for the four-inch PVC, just and then PVC. I'm assembling the arms, which are two arm lengths and then elbow joints for the shoulders. Elbows, not for the elbows, but for the shoulders. Okay. Um, and then um, to make the hands, I cut them from milk jug. You can actually go to our Facebook page. We did a little video showing you on the Facebook page how to cut how out those cut hands. That. Okay. And then just your standard big old garbage can. You probably have one in your gar in your garage that needs to be thrown out. Um, trace do, a circle from your PVC and just cut a hole in each side. And that's all I did to get us to this point. So that was, took me about 10 minutes. Okay. And now we get to actually assemble him. Mark, you want to help me out here? I will help you. So here's our two our two feet we put down, okay. and we're gonna get these legs, pop them in. Then Everything just slides that. right in there. Boom, wow. boom. I like that noise. All right, Ooh. now one shoulder. Yes. Yeah, so our shoulders, and we're gonna connect these with this little small piece here. Okay. Shoulder goes in like that. This one goes there. One goes there, and this one goes here. Okay. Get it well, together. Get, there we go. There we are. There we go. There we go. Now we get our trash can body. All right. This is a really fun thing to do with the kids. It's like huge tinker toys. And symbol it first, and then the kids can paint it later. And you can really paint it any color you want. Get really creative with it. Huh. Now we add our arms, the arms okay. that you saw me make earlier. Whoa, wow. Right yeah, and left with our there milk jug hands. Perfect. The nice thing, the fact that none of these pieces are glued, that it's all just fit in, means that you can take it apart and store it at the I end of the year. I just wanted to thank Christina for giving us a hand. Oh, hey. Boom, 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 boom. An arm boom. And a hand. And, uh, and then you're going to get a five gallon bucket and cut it apart, and that's going to give you your shoes. And then, Christina, if you want to pass us the final green bucket there. Yes. But wait, shouldn't it? He's Frankenstein. His arm should be. He can be like, Rrr. There's a green Rrr. bucket that for goes you. On the top for the head. This goes this. Other way around. Oh, this there way. You go. Well, maybe he was a little upside down. There we go. She was like this. Here we go. And for the there. face, we actually have that face on the Pinterest page for Home and Family. You can print it out on a vinyl sticker. There you go, on just sticker paper. And you can like get your the, eyes. Oh, look at there. Here, I'm going to show you. Here you go. And a little bit of fur on the head, and then have the kids paint them, paint Here, splotches. I think it comes there off. There you go. I think if you face. can, I don't How know. Great is that? Here's what I love about this is if you take this, and you actually, I'm going to show you. Bob, can you get a shot of this? This, I think, is great. If you put this up, you actually <laughs> have a really nice. There we go. Uh, so, wow. really fun project, really creative, easy to do. As you saw, it took no time to put it together. And when you're done, yeah. take them apart and put them in his trash can good. until and next year. You're going to put them up in the attic. And you two yeah. can have your very own Mark Steinus, Frankensteinus at home. <laughs> Mark Frankenstein <laughs> at all. I know. I branded myself with that. I'm in trouble. Every year I'm going to have to deal with that.